Hello and welcome everybody to a special showing, kind of like live, a little bit similar. You got that fantastic music there, but even though I can't be live Friday night, you guys still get that fantastic action. This list is using the Lead the Stampede list that I'm playing Monday. It's going to be fantastic. Hopefully things go pretty well. Of course, list as always is in the description, but we'll jump right into things. Man, I'm excited for Lead the Stampede, grabbing a whole bunch of stuff for the most part. Um, I'll likely have mentioned Vivian, both Vivian's there, the one that costs three, the one that costs five. Most often I'm grabbing a creature or a land with the one that costs five, but I felt like Lead the Stampede potentially drawing three cards, four cards, five cards, especially with using so many creatures it does really make sense. Oh, man, look at that starting hand. That is a beautiful sight to see. Plenty of ramp. We got a fantastic payoff. Hopefully also getting another big heavy hitter at some point here. Hopefully it's nothing too nasty. Hmm. Jund colors. Might be five color. Something Yorion related. Enchantments, unfortunately. I expected Huntmaster to eat some removal, so that's definitely an okay thing. Hopefully Marauding Raptor sticks around. Phew, okay, they don't don't have a fatal push. Another one, at least. Fable of the Mirror Breaker, that's not so bad. We got Thunderherd and Topiary Stomper. Luckily, I drew that forest land, so that's what I'm going to go with. Could potentially have revealed Charging Monstrosaur, I guess, but I really want to get to seven lands next turn. We'll be at six here. Two for Thunderherd to reveal Charging Monstrosaur and then playing it, allowing us to also attack with the Topiary Stomper there. Then if they wanted to kill stuff, I mean... We're sitting at a lovely six lands, nice, stable amount. We could slam Carnage Tyrant if I draw that, of course. That'd be very exciting. It survived the turn we needed. Hey, use Infernal Grasp on Topiary Stomper. That's not the worst thing. Double charging. Well, I know what I want to do. Unfortunately, couldn't go... Thunderherd plus charging, but that's still decent. Hopefully that's enough pressure. Of course, Fatal Push can't take out Charging Monstrosaur. Paula Kranos. Paula Slamos. Hmm, that's gonna be tough to beat. Paula Kranos fighting Charging Monstrosaur, perhaps. They want to do something with those treasure tokens. Uh, they're, they're looking at it. Hmm. Okay, well, not too bad. Getting away from us a little bit, but... Oh, the queen. Nuts. One off from playing the queen. That's okay. I'm going to hold back both of them. Hopefully they survive, allowing us to go Galta next turn and bring the pain. But Reflection of Kiki Jiki properly... Well, no, that's that's not so bad. We got Polycranos down to one. Hmm. As long as he stays at one, that's not much of a threat at all. Hopefully charging is safe. I think it should be. We can't block either Blood Tithe Harvest. We can't block that one, because that'll bring Charging Monsters or down in range of being killed by the other blood tithe that would tap and sacrifice itself. Land, you can do it. Oh, sh well, shifting also. Fantastic. Four, five power. Galta for two. Woohoo. Get her done. Have some fun. Slam some big guys. That's gonna be goodbyes. I think. They could easily kill Galta with stuff. If they can't. Boom. Boom. Oh, all we needed was the queen. 
Rakdos, though. Anger of the Gods tends to be pretty fantastic stuff. I guess Anger of the Gods wouldn't be dealing damage to Polycranos. They just removed 1-1 one, one counters, and then it would just go to the graveyard. But still, Anger of the Gods against this deck. Hit the Reflections, the Harvesters. Oh, excuse me. It's not even that late. I'm gonna make some coffee after this, though, but... Anger of the Gods, that seems to be where it's at. Shripjar Raptor, hmm. Yeah, yeah, I want to gain even more potential value from hitting Ripjaw with Anger. Switch, shifting in Ripjaw, for sure. Cut lead the Stampede, just cause Anger's a bunch more stuff that lead will unfortunately have to pass off. There's still probably enough creatures that I could probably leave lead in. Huntmaster, eh, cut one of them. Yeah. I'm gonna cut one. I was thinking of cutting all the Hunt Masters, so of course it dies to our own anger of the gods now. The Fatal Pushes, a Stomp from Bone Crusher Giant, Blood Tithe Harvester. Maybe too many things kill it. But I wanna try keeping it in. More often than I have in the past, usually it's always coming out against a deck like this where Hunt Master really eats the removal. But this hand, that's not quite gonna do it. Of course, to anger of the gods is nice. If it was two lands, definitely I would keep it. Ooh, that is getting better. Certainly. Topiary Stomper likely grabbing that mountain. Never mind. Okay, this is really good. Topiary Stomper turn three. Get us to five on turn four for charging Monster Sore. Oh my, man, man. This is a... Uh, wow. Wow, look at that pain and suffering. They are going to be the ones shedding the tears. Yeah, well, like a trespasser? Hopefully it stays a trespasser and we don't have to worry about it being a 4-4 out of range from being killed by anger. But it certainly seems like things should be good. If anything, maybe they just kill Topiary Stomper. If they play enough creatures, though, I'll probably just slam Anger of the Gods Actually, I kind of want to go charging. No, no, I should. I should go anger of the gods. Yeah. Get Polycranus down to three. I don't have to worry about him fighting anything. Whatever Polycranus fights now, that's it. He won't be able to kill anything. Maybe just Otepic Huntmaster, but being a three-three, ooh, whoopee. Oh, oh my goodness! I think I have to go the other anger now. This is just too good. Maybe. Oh, Shatter Skull. I'm gonna take that ping, even though it's three damage. Yeah, let's do it. Smoke them all. And then still play Hunt Master. Boom! Oh, oh. Man, that was devastating. Well, that was a lovely showing. Hopefully things continue to go that way. Man. Gotta love it. Anger of the Gods coming in strong, absolutely. And it definitely was lovely getting that Polycranus down to three. Yeah, that just shut that plan down. Quick. Interesting being Jund, though. I guess Polycranus can be pretty good. Pretty big body. Could be some decent removal. Haven't seen it too often, though. Don't know what else they were splashing the green for. Maybe it was just Polycranos? Seems like a pretty easy splash. It's not too much extra green. Sub-Zero. Something blue related, I think. Oh, hey, that's uh, looking good. Mono blue, I don't know. The fact I'm seeing Snow Covered Island, I would have thought Mono Blue Spirits, of course, but it could be Mono Blue Tempo, Delver, whatever it is. As always, Shifting Ceratops is starting out, but I'm gonna try for Thunder Herd Migration. Something a little bit less threatening. They may allow it to go off. Hopefully, that's the case. Ah, nuts. That's all right, though. 
I think there was a pretty good chance they would have countered anything. Spell Pierce only for non-creatures, but they probably had a counter spell for something else. Gonna try for Hunt Master if they have something that makes us pay an extra one. Hopefully Consider doesn't get the counter spell. Who? Make disappear. This is going to be a bit annoying. Hopefully, I see that shifting ceratops soon. They're running out of stuff to play, though. Let's land this guy. Maybe they're hoping we consider conceding. Oh, phew. Okay, okay. We're off to the races. Got a bunch of fantastic bodies. Hopefully, they're somewhat tapped out. That certainly makes me worried that they'll have something bad. I feel like trying for lead the stampede. I'm going to try for lead the stampede to hopefully grab shifting ceratops. Oh, shifting. Galta. Shifting it. Oh, we got all the queens. But the main thing, shifting. Hasty. Next turn. That's the pressure we want to do. Hopefully it's enough pressure. I may just hold up shifting ceratops. Four, yeah, I'm just gonna leave shifting ceratops there and make them not attack with anything ever again, pretty much. As long as I have a source of green untapped. I could have done five, but they might be swinging. Oh, okay. This guy goofed. I think. Right. Took out something for three. I mean, I guess we didn't take it out, but got a little bit bigger. At least it slowed things down and we see they got rid of a negate. So they're really looking for those non-creature spells, but we got a lot of creatures, and bad things are really about to happen. My goodness. I'm going to try for Regisaur Alpha. Hopefully. Oh, oh, we got the Regisaur. We got Galton. They may be saving a counter spell for that, but hopefully that's not the case. That's all right. Lots of good stuff. Four, so we got uh, six. Well, can't block anything, so we're slamming them. Hopefully they can't kill us. Probably Ledger Shredder is going to be our doom. Unfortunately, oh, that, that will be the doom. We didn't get a shifting Ceratops early enough, but I know I'm going to be prioritizing shifting. Absolutely. A wee bit rough. Rampaging Frostodon, yeah, that could be good for some fantastic aggression. Definitely want to leave in, lead the stampede to grab those shiftings. I could see myself cutting a couple Galta. Got to make space somewhere, of course. Hmm. One lead. Maybe I should keep all of them in just to lock in the highest chance of seeing shifting ceratops otherwise yeah that's, that's gotta be good gotta be good they know there is shifting ceratops so they'll stop everything they possibly can to not see it slow it down as much as possible well, i like the looks of this hopefully we get a thunderherd migration off but definitely nice seeing rampaging frosodon Hopefully there's a good chance we see that. Baseju, uh, maybe they have some enchantment, curious obsession, or the other thing that draws cards whenever they deal damage. Hmm. Oh, a double mulligan. That looks pretty good. I'm liking our chances here. Maybe could have gone Rockfall Veil. Okay. We can safely go with Thunderherd Migration. I like this very much. Reveal the good old Rampaging. 
Might just go Thunderherd migration next turn anyways. Get us at least to five. And then hopefully, well, on our way to Carnage Tyrant. Maybe on turn four if we draw enough lands, that is. Already flipped nuts. You know, I'm going to try for Huntmaster. See what they do. Oh, they let it go. At least we got Hunt Mad. Oh, oh, we got the land. We got cars trying. Can't counter that. Lights out. Good luck. I wonder if you had counter spells in hand. Now they're dead. Bouncing. Dead. Removal. Good luck. Can't make us sacrifice this with mono blue. Maximum pressure it is. You gotta be slamming a bunch of good stuff. I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, let's try for marauding and see how many counter spells you got. Down to one, so we should be able to safely go Regisaur Alpha, I would think. Hopefully. All right. Boom. Get the Carnage Tyrant. Get the Shifting. Get the win. Kind of think an Anger of the Gods to take out Insectile Aberration, but there's probably a pretty good chance... We won't be able to get Anger of the Gods off. Hmm. We're just really going to have to see that Shifting Ceratops. If there's the first hand, maybe two lands and a Shifting, I might just keep that. Hopefully some ramp as well. If it's three lands and Shifting Ceratops, definitely that's going to be it. Carnage Tyrant, though, a fantastic headache. That's the thing you need against a deck like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a pretty good chance I guess we draw a second land, and seeing shifting is nice, but I think it's too risky. Oh, okay, that, that's... Nah, I'll put lead the stampede to the bottom. That's a lot better. Oh, double shifting. If we can get shifting on board... Ooh. Just gonna be counter spells for days, I would imagine. Counter spell. All counter spells all the time. Another Delver, nuts. Oh, we got Poseidon. Hopefully. Topiary gets going. Seems like that's going to be the case. Okay, okay. At least we can start getting the shiftings next turn. I like the sounds of that. If we can get to fifth land, we could play the shifting and just threaten reach to block the insectile aberration. Man, that would be sweet. Gonna have to do something quick. Oh, phew, phew. Hopefully they don't flip. Ooh, they, they do. Okay. Well, we're not, we're not dead yet. We're not quite dead yet. Block one, go down to four. Next turn we can block the other two. I think it should be okay. Slip out the back. Uh, that's not so good. But we're not so dead yet. 
Actually, no, we can't get reach to two things. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's how you do it. What am I thinking? I needed two sources of green to get them. Shoot. Well, they got lucky with all those insectile aberrations, unfortunately. Yeah, that's how it goes. I'm having a good time. Hopefully you guys are having a good time. Man, I just saw. I got a pack. Hopefully it's a rare wild card. Almost up to 80,000 gold. My goodness. It's getting more and more tempting day by day. Not to redeem a little bit of that for packs. Whoa, oh boy, that is uh, lovely stuff. That's a thing you want to open. A rare land. Dual land. Okay. Huh, I'll take it. Huh. Well, keep going. Something like Blue Tempo. They just have too many counter spells and they got some lovely flying stuff. Hunter's Mark would have been very nice, I think. Yeah. But I don't think Mono Blue Tempo is common enough to warrant bringing in Hunter's Mark. Can't be countered. Target creature you control gets plus one, plus one. It costs a single green if you target a blue permanent. Really would do the trick, allowing us to take out some of those flyers and be quite protected. It is nice seeing shifting, but not quite as fast as I would like. Although to lead the stampede, eventually we would get to that. If we don't draw something else for two or three, it's going to be nice to see what lead the stampede gets. Oh, well, that's... Hopefully Huntmaster survive. Oh, Huntmaster does survive. They don't have anything for one at instant speed. A shock, whatever, play with fire. That makes me feel pretty positive. If we can get the hasty shifting, we'll be off to the races. We will not get the hasty. We will? Oh, hmm, okay. Question is, Topiary, or sh um, let's try for shifting Ceratops and hope they can't take it out. Mm, I see, it says uh, Jeskai, or is it Gear Hulk? Something like that. Shifting Ceratops is going to be a headache either way. Uh, probably heavily blue related. Hopefully they don't double up on the fire prophecy, but at least we got the shifting down. I think that should do the trick. Instead of Topiary Stomper there. Mirror Breaker, huh? Ooh, Shatter Skull? Shatter Skull could be good. I think I definitely want to get to... Well, more lands, I should say. Topiary Stomper unlocked the possibility of Galta next turn. Just continue the ramping dominance and pressure only shifting. Hopefully Galta next turn. I don't see him removing shifting, but they might have something for Topiary Stomper, although that's not so threatening at the moment. We only have five lands. If we, I was at six, I could see, see it being a little bit of trouble. Ooh, ooh, what have we got? Shark Typhoon. Yikes. And it's one less sensor. It does make sense that they discard it at this point in the game. Something creativity-wise, I think. Sack and stuff. Hmm. I want to kill somebody. Eventually, they're going to kill somebody. Putting us to sleep here, my goodness. They're scared with the potential stuff that could happen. We might still see Galta next turn, depending what we draw. It would have to be pretty specific, I think. At the very least, if I get another six land card. Ooh, well. I'm going to take that action. I'm going to try for lead the stampede, see if that draws out a counter spell. 
Oh man, look at all those goodies. Well, I know what I want to try for. Is this a counter spell? They see all the other nasty stuff, so do they let it resolve? And then worry about the big heavy hitters later on? Hard to say. Who do they kill and when do they kill it? Voltage surge? Something to keep in mind. A very, very fantastic thing to keep in mind. I mean, they did have to get rid of the treasure along with tapping another land, so it's not a total loss. Could still go charging monsters or plus Galta or shifting, depending if one of those guys. Wow. Well, probably gonna try for charging. I don't think they have as many counter spells, maybe just a lot of removal, but I would see something creativity based coming down. Hmm. They're looking through their graveyard a lot. Killing marauding. Hmm. Might still be able to see Galta, even if they get. Oh, yes. Creativity. Okay. Torrential. Double torrential gear hulk. My goodness, that is nasty stuff. Now yeah, we still have shifting. Uh, apply the pressure, at least. Gearhawks can't block it. Pretty fantastic. Ooh, okay, we got options here. Five, yeah. No, I probably want haste with shifting. That's the thing. Yeah, I gotta give shifting haste, unfortunately. I would like to play the queen, but... Gotta start applying the pressure and hope they don't have removal for shifting. Topiary Stomper, of course, blocking one of the gear hulks. If they do attack, it would make sense to do so because they can't ever block the Ceratops. I hope they don't remove it. looking at it. Maybe they're just looking at how protection from blue works. Certainly works in my favor. Now, nah, you know what? I'm going to take the damage. I want to keep Galta as cheap as possible, especially if they get rid of a topiary stomper or that topiary. Oh, Oh, well, Carnage Tyrant it is. Let's go. Boom. We get a trade with a Torrential Gearhawk. And we get to see if they have any counter spell for the Queen. No. Okay. Keep swinging with the Ceratops. Oh, boy. Get him. That's a pretty imposing look of dinos. Prismari Command may not save you. I guess if they cheat out Agent of Treachery, they could steal Galta and Topiary. That's about it. Hopefully, they don't get Agent of Treachery. Hopefully it's not another voltage surge. They know they have to do something quick though. Eventually. Ooh, double prism. All right, command. What are they digging for? It's, they're t desperate. Very desperate. Considering conceding the classic.
I guess they could probably still get us if they get a creativity somehow, but they already got two gear hooks. I imagine they have the whole play set, so they might sacrifice the two gear hooks to get two more gear hooks, perhaps. Oh, they're looking to steal the queen. Maybe. They probably have something up their sleeve, otherwise you'd think they would have conceded by now. Hmm. Okay, hopefully this is not too bad. I mean, it's kind of bad. Voltage Surge, sacrifice some gear hooks, take out the shifting ceratops. All right, all right. dead yet. Oh, let's go marauding. Yes, please. Slam down the good old charging monster sword. Bring the pain with as much bodies as possible. They got a double block to stop lots of damage from Galta. To boom, bang, bing, boom. Dead them in. Through four torrential gear hooks. Not too many decks that can stare down that. Wow. Okay, I'm going to keep it as is. I think Shifting Ceratops is pretty decent in this matchup, similar to the Mono Blue Tempo I just faced. Ooh, ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Maybe they're wondering, if should we even play? That was pretty rough for them. It was getting kind of rough for us. Lead the Stampede, though, definitely could come in clutch in case we don't top deck that, that Shifting Ceratops. Doesn't seem like they have too many counter spells. It's more make some treasure tokens, discard some things, make stuff that enables that indomitable creativity to cheat out the gear hooks. But that voltage, 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 surge, that's kind of painful on Shifting. It's very unfortunate that it deals the exact four damage to take it out. Pretty much the only removal that can deal with shifting. Carnage Tyrant, though, that's going to be the good guy. Whew, that's decent. It's going to be an uphill battle, that's for sure. Hopefully they stumble a little bit. But we maintained a foothold and powered through, got her done. Oh, wow. Okay. Now this changes things a little bit. Thunderherd Migration turn. Oh, oh well. No, they can't counter this quite nicely, but Thunderherd Migration got plenty of lands. Turn three, four lands. Riding Rapture for two. Topiary for two. Turn after that, go Regisaur, plus the second Marauding afterwards. Don't want them to kill Regisaur Alpha and the token. Maybe they have a counter spell for somebody. Hopefully that's not the case, but we're going to find out. Okay. Hopefully not for Topiary. Ooh, even better. Now we could potentially... Actually, I'm probably going to just get to seven lands next turn, be able to attack with the Topiaries, but Regis or Alpha actually is probably better if they're completely open. Hard to say. Do as much damage as possible, though. Yeah. Indomitable creativity coming down, sacrificing that treasure, I think. Unfortunately. Well, we tried to go as fast as possible. 
nuts. I mean, it's nothing too bad that they're copying, but still a five, six, not a pretty sight. Oh my, look at this. Yeah, th oh, yeah, it's under heard for two. We still have four left over for Regisaur. That's, that's what I want to be doing. Sweet. Gonna power up the Marauding, so they're not gonna block the Marauding, which would trade with the Gear Hulk here. Probably gonna block token I guess or do two damage to Regis or Alpha voltage surge coming up that's okay I'm still gonna do as much as I actually I shouldn't have why did I attack with topiary stomper nuts maybe they feel safe swinging with the gear hawk I don't think that's gonna be the case though fire prophecy I prophesize this game in particular might not go our way i'll take five that's all right keep that token there to help reduce the cost if we do see galta oh but we see a shifting instead that's also very good very very good i hope there's no voltage surge Ether gust. I'm gonna take the action, definitely. Play this other copy of Marauding Raptor, ping some stuff, do some damage, block the Gear Hulk with one of the Maraudings. Although they might not even attack because I've got shifting Ceratops. Let's see what they do. Good. At least they didn't have another ether gust. Man, that definitely gets annoying. Back to back ether gust, ether gusts, stopping the shifting ceratops, the carnage tyrant, and all that stuff. But I think we may have them on the ropes here, folks. Hopefully it's a creature. Or lead the stampede. Oh, okay. See if they have a counter spell for the queen. Boom. Uh, no counter spell. I like it. Alrighty. Down to the bugbear. Don't have to worry too much about it. See what it blocks. But it will be nice taking out down to the bugbear. And still taking him out. Oof. Exactly lethal. Trample. Thank you very much. It probably didn't matter. But we got it done in the end. In fantastic fashion. In two. This deck would be pretty scary to face for anybody. Except Dinos with Shifting Ceratops, Galta, Carnage Tyrant. Fantastic, explosive, potential, stable ramp with the lands there. I kind of like shifting ceratops, if you guys didn't already know. Hopefully things continue. Maybe another mono blue. It would be nice to kind of get revenge against mono blue. Mm. All's kind of rough whenever we do have to drop a match to them. Just because we got the shifting ceratops. The lovely thing. Uh, it's kind of slow. Ah, I'll give her a go. At least got four lands. Of course, Shatter Skull if we have to remove somebody problematic, but lead the Stampede. Yeah, yeah, should do the trick. It's going to be nice to grab, like, four things. 
Hopefully that happens. Hmm. There is a pretty good chance that we do see something for two or three by turn three. I've seen Demir colors. Ah, Shatter Skull Smashing. Let's get that down. I have a sneaky suspicion we may not have much to remove. Ooh, Esper, Grease Fang, I think. Okay, lead the stampede. Lead the way to drawing four cards. Wow, look at that. Have to discard two, unfortunately. I'll discard a queen just because we have so many copies. And another lead the stampede. I like it, I like it a lot. They see all kinds of nasty stuff. What's gonna happen? Lillian of the Veil. Well, we still got heavy hitters. Discard a card. Oh, nuts. We don't have any more charging monstrosaurs in hand. Shoot. Got the lands. Now the question is, shifting or marauding? Probably a good chance well, Liliana would make us sacrifice whatever we play. We can't give shifting haste. Get marauding. Hopefully they don't have removal for it. And Liliana has to use her minus two. Then charging will have haste next turn or Regisaur or shifting, whatever it is to take out Liliana, I hope. That's to be expected. Hmm. We could still take it out with charging or shifting. I feel like it's got to be Regis or Alpha. Keep the things that can take out her. I hope. I'm going to go with charging just because it costs five. And hope they don't have a counter spell. Or removal. Oh, okay, okay. Nothing at instant speed for two that would take out Liliana. And we now know that's not saw it coming, luckily. Unfortunately, they're drawing two cards. Hopefully one of those isn't another copy of Liliana. I would imagine there's maybe the full playset in here. Ooh, I think that's Doomscar. Doomscar saw it coming, but try from rotting, see if it draws out the counter spell. Topiary Stomper get us to seven lands, possibly. Okay. They see the shifting, so maybe perhaps they want to wait and hold off on the Doomscar, but that's enough threatening power right there. They probably have the Doomscar next turn. Or poison the cup. Hmm. Okay. Well, at least it's not a sweeper. That was pretty good. Hmm. Hopefully it's not a sweeper. That'll be a lot of damage next turn. Ooh. Somebody's not surviving this particular scenario. Pretend like I have something else threatening in hand. Maybe protection. You never know. Tameo safekeeping. Uh, something. Wandering Emperor, I think. Eh, Field of Ruin, that's not too bad. Got plenty of basics, as always. Definitely have enough sources of red. Hmm. Wandering Emperor. Fatal, oh, Fatal Push, that is also very good. Classic. 
digging for a sweeper. Oh my goodness, that is nasty. Just in case they wanted to make us discard, now we don't lose that land. Teferi, bouncing, marauding. That's okay. We could get a fantastic thing off the top. Oh, we got the fantastic thing off the top. Hasty, yes, please, let's go. I think I'm just going to swing for the fences here, folks. Do as much damage as possible. I was thinking of taking out Teferi, but... Yeah. Let's go for it. No removal for shifting? They certainly have a lot of it. My goodness. Vanishing verse, fatal push, poison the cup. Yikes. It doesn't get really more painful than this. Yeah, that's more removal than I'm used to. Jam-packed removal. Now well, I would have enough for Wandering Emperor. That's got to be in. Okay, hopefully they can't counterspell this. Oh, maybe. That's okay. I hope they didn't meet the requirement of another fatal. They did. I jinx myself, but at least we got lead the stampede to get to a bunch of good guys. Yes, indeed. I'll just barf everything I possibly can and hope they don't sweep us. Could be a little bit rough having two maraudings, depending what we draw next turn. That might kill things, unfortunately. But, if they remove one marauding, that's pretty good. Kind of plays into our hand. Could help us out, or end up helping us out. Yeah, you know you want to kill one. Do it. Not too threatened with the three that they have untapped. Certainly shifting Ceratops going to be nice-ish. I'm just going to play it. Power up both Maraudings there. Get them both to four. Almost lethal, or pretty close. Oh, oh, it is, it is. What, 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 what? I was certain the three mana they had up there was something in their hand that was going to cause us doom. But shifting hair tops. Like I said, if they take out one marauding, we can still get them. But luckily, they kept them all around. Play the shifting. Power up the maraudings. Even though it dies, get used to lines like that. That can do the trick. Okay. Okay. Oof. I'm fired up after that one. My goodness. That was sweet. Yeah. Get them. That'd be pretty sweet to beat him in two. I don't think that's going to happen, but... Man, man, that was lovely stuff. They have a ton of removal, though. Yeah, I'm just... I'm actually surprised I pulled that off through all the fatal pushes and the poison the cups and the sweepers. I'm sure they're sweepers. Just removal out of that. Yeah. Technically, I could make this work. Rootbound Craig, turn one. Shatter Skull Smash in turn two. Well, Stomping Ground instead. Well, that's what it's going to be. I think I'll keep Shatter Skull Smashing just in case I possibly have to remove a Teferi. 
That could be pretty nice. Hope they don't remove Huntmaster, although I still get Topiary Stomper next turn if he's alive. Shifting would be pretty nice. Oh, he's dead. Fatal push. Something bad. I thought. Okay, well, hasty shifting. I'll try for it. I hope. The thingamajig. Instant speed exile. Target monocolored permanent. Maybe. Noxious. Oh, man, this is going to be painful. Well, if they get rid of Huntmaster, we can still go with the second one next turn, plus Topiary Stomper. I don't feel safe going Regis or Alpha, that's for sure. Try for the good old Topiary. Okay, okay, we can still go Regis or if they swept us next turn. Quite nice. Maybe this guy draws, oh, still doesn't draw out a counter spell. Hmm, it could be very good next turn. Maybe. That's all right, one less noxious grasp. We're certainly well away, decently away from seven land, so very nice seeing them use it on Regisaur to ferry. I think we could get them, even though they untap two. Could be another noxious grasp, of course, but I think it's got to be Shatter Skull. Actually, you know what? Let's reveal Regis or Alpha like a boss. The doom is coming. I'm going to try for it. I don't think they can kill both Huntmasters. Of course, they could have two fatal pushes, but Regisaur for three? Golly gee. Hasty. Now's the time to throw everything at the guy. Oh, we took out the fairy. Yeah, they weren't low enough that I felt good. Yeah, I did feel good just swinging for the face and certainly being able to likely take out the fairy there. That was nice. Hey, that's all right. It's one less fatal push on the Huntmaster. Of course, it could be a sweeper here. We do have a backup lead the Stampede. I think that's going to be pretty strong, especially if the Huntmasters are still around. Oh, Carnage. I'm just going to play it. I'm just going to play it. Boom. I guess they could have a counter spell for lead the Stampede. We'll see what this draws out. Hopefully they don't. Oh, look at all that. They see uh, there's no point in going a sweeper. Pain in hand, pain on board. Wow. Three to draw three, and all of them are good. My, 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 my. Oh, Esper control in two. Lead the stampede, leading the way. Carnage Tyrant, Regis or Alpha. Man, this... Uh, this went better than I thought. I think I'll leave it there on a positive note. Hopefully, as I'm getting ready for the stream in about an hour or so tonight, Monday night, as of recording, things go as positively as they did right there. It's going to be pretty hard to top that, but if anybody can do it, I can do it. And the dinos get her done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this sort of live stream. Hopefully have a good night, a good morning, good evening, afternoon, whenever it is you are watching. And remember, there is always room for improvement. Peace. Have a good one.
Du, du, du.